My name is Colin Lundahl. I'm the owner operator of Cape Star Charters and Cape Star Waterfowling. So when most people call it quits in the fall after tuna fishing, I extend my season and I come out here. I'm a full-time guide here on Cape Cod. I guide fishing trips eight months of the year. You know, I guide striped bass, sea bass, a lot of bluefin tuna all the way through November. And then give myself a week to get set up for this and I finish my year off with two months of sea duck hunting. It is something I love to do. I grew up doing this my whole life, hunting with my father. It's something I would be doing anyways. Guys, you got a big group of birds coming from your right. Um, I don't know if they're gonna set up in the spread, but they're coming in right in line with you. Um, stay low, uh, pick out those drinks. A lot, of, a lot of people that live here on Cape Cod don't really realize that this is a big destination for waterfowl hunting, uh, specifically sea ducks. All three species winter here. Eiders, scoters, and old squaw. They nest and raise their young up in the Arctic. And once temperatures get too frigid up there um, and everything freezes up, these birds travel south thousands of miles sometimes. And this is kind of the last standing point to where these birds end up for the year. The clients we have in town are specifically looking for certain types of ducks that they want to mount. They're usually only pulling the trigger on birds that are mountable to them. They're from out of town, um, as well as most of the clients I have. For the eider ducks, we were hunting off a muscle bed up inside where the birds wanted to come in and feed. A lot of mornings um, breaking 100 to 200 yards of ice just to get out to open water. Conditions in Cape Cod in the months of December and January are um, very harsh to say the least. It's not an easy way to make a living, that's for sure. The temperatures are brutal, the days are long, um, but it's what I love to do. Some mornings can be negative 20 wind chill factor. The conditions are a lot different. We see a lot of wind, a lot more than we do in the summer. Days like today are few and far between. You know, every morning's tough getting out of the bed in the middle of the winter. This morning when we got to the boat ramp, we got there about an hour early. It gave us plenty of time to get out, get set up in the dark. Um, we laid out our spread. We ran a half spread of eiders and um, scoters this morning. You guys can jump right back into that that not a terribly cold and frigid morning, um, a lot more mild than I'm used to. Set the layout boat in a position where we had good sun, um, good light to see the birds that we wanted to shoot, um, and a good wind direction for the birds to set up in over top the decoys. The birds want to land right on top of you at some points. They creep right up on top of you. Really good form of gunning, really good clean kills. So these guys over here, they're hunting out of a layout boat and basically they're positioned right, in, right inside the decoy spread. Um, it's an in your face, a lot of action. And when it gets too cold and the fish move out, um, I switch over to sea duck hunting. I'm an avid waterfowler, always have been, and I enjoy taking clients out from all over the country um, to shoot these birds that they came here, traveled sometimes thousands of miles to come here and harvest. <laughs> 